All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Kilta. It is a auto battler with like heavy team management stuff, but it's single player, so you don't have to worry about going up against other people. I've pretty much never played a whole lot of auto battler games, so I don't really know too much about the genre. But it had some really neat. It had a really neat art style, and it seemed pretty like genuine fun. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Healing Potion. Three per battle. Instantly heals targeted ally the amount equal to their max health, or... Okay. So, three small heals, one big heal. Eh, let's go for the three small heals. I can't do anything else. Will you accept the job of the Guildmaster? No. <laughs> Why even give me that option? I get it, but like... Chapter 1, The Looming Shadow in the Forest. Day 1. Become Guild the Twin Continents. Where? Where am I? Become the best guild in the Twin Continents. What is this place? Become the best guild in the Twin Continents. Can't remember. Become the best guild in the Twin Continents. My head. Is everything alright, Guildmaster? Seeing my master in such distress saddens me. If there's anything I can do, are your words are my command. Maricus, it's been an honor to work alongside my master. Ever since you first took me under your wing, I've been grateful for what you've provided for me. Let's celebrate your new beginning by selecting our first quest. A great day has come to us. Alright, so, party is these two. Inventory is... Okay, we... Can I... Ah... Okay, so she's a rogue. Dagger. Scarf. Ancient armor. Yeah, it probably works out. Alright, quests. Lone Wolf. We've received our first official quest. A lone hunger wolf has been harassing the townsfolk on the nearby roads. Get rid of the wolf. Sure. Begin quest. Okay. So, position party members by selecting the allied unit and then clicking on the desired grid location on the field. Ho hovering ally or enemy unit will display detailed unit information after a brief, de brief delay. Holding shift skips the delay. Begin battle. Okay. So, like I said, this is an auto battler, so I don't think I have a whole lot of control over this. I think it's more of just, like, setting up my dudes and then letting them fight. I do have, potentially, that healing potion, but I'm not really sure how to do it. All right, well, cool, and we get stuff. Oh, this actually seems nicely casual for me. <laughs> Not just any dagger, an almost magical one. Huh. Good morning, Guildmaster. Is your head any better today? Also, good job on yesterday's quest. I can now better understand what America sees in you as a leader. Ah! Huh. Mr. Maggie is happy to express his joy as well. So, what do we do now? I think you understand it. What? understand it as well. The three of us will not make it if we wish to make something out of our, out of this guild. We need to recruit more capable people, and I think you're the best suited for the job. Go ahead, recruit more people. Let's see what they're made of. Ah! Alright, so we can get one of two characters. We can get Dalton or Rufus. Dalton is a rat wildkin from the slums of the capital. His motivation is to join Kilt is to gain money and knowledge about the surrounding world. He's a wanted criminal in the capital's area and his specialties are poisons. Is he a really trust? Is he really a trustworthy ally? Or Rufus is a guardian of his village in the Lowo region. As part of his guardian duties, he is on some kind of mission. His powers enable him to steal the life force of others. All right. Uh, let's see. I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna go with Rufus just because he doesn't look. This guy looks like he's gonna rob me. This guy looks like he's gonna kill me. <laughs> so let's slap him in. So what's he got? Lifesteal. Strikes one melee target with 125% physical power, then heals self by an amount determined by magical power. Cool. He seems kind of fun. Let's give him the druidic staff and leather jacket. Alright, next quest. Bonus objective. Expires today. Win a battle with every party member fully equipped. Oh, fair enough. It looks like I can redo stuff if I want to. Oh, nope, they're separate. Well... 
Magic Crossbow, Sword of Light, or Recurve Bow and a Leather Jacket. Uh, let's go for the weapons. Begin quest. Okay. He's melee, so we can just put him in the front. So, do I... I get up to six characters, not nine. Hopefully you get to actually, like, manage talent trees on the characters or something at some point. Only having two equip slots on each character is going to be... I'm not going to say a, a bit of a limitation. Holy crap, he can heal himself like crazy. Looks like it costs a fair bit of MP, though. So you can't use it constantly. Let me watch it go. Is there a way to... Ah, there we go. Gotta go fast. Okay, that might actually get really uncomfortable. We might also want some damage dealers here. Okay. So, Ellen is a human bard that's been traveling the two continents for a few months. Her songs can affect both allies and enemies with varied effects. She's after money and fame. Or, Maru, human sage from the swamps of Lowo. She's lived most of her life in exclusion, probably seclusion, and become sort of a living legend in the region. She does curses. Bard! Okay. If Hymn of Heroes is performed, all allies are healed by an amount equal to... 70% of Ellen's magical power and granted physical power buff or perilous poem which hurts enemies and makes them weaker. All right. Inventory. Definitely going to need more equipment. Oh, I actually only get up to 5 characters. Oh, that's fine. Uh this gets tougher looking kind of all right, Relic of Cultus. That's pretty good. I think I want to go for the leather jackets. I think this bow is better too. Yeah, so let's go for this group. Give the better sword. Oh, did I? Whatever, it's fine. Gotta go fast. Okay, let's not do that. Unfortunately, the camera movement is real awkward. And is going to make me real sick. Watching that just zip back and forth left and right. Why do Guildmaster skills have a plus next to it? No idea. Okay, going for the bard just for the group heal sounds... I think that actually was a good plan. Well, he did. Yeah, can we turn off the camera pan? Maybe. Weekly news has arrived. You start scrolling through the papers. Continental News. Uniting people one headline at a time. Issue number 16. Reports of ominous growls and howls have been reported in the Metaforest. Citizens living nearby are requested to stay inside until further notice while the investigations move on further. N number of rogue bandits and criminals are on the rise. Guilds in the area are requested by law, by the law enforcers to secure trade routes to Netrico. A new, new hit food has hit shelves and streets, popularized as pancakes. Soft and tasty cake originated from Lenret and has spread all across the Twin Continents. Thank you for reading your, our news. See you again next week. Okay. Heals or curses? Let's go with her. Strikes an enemy with magic power. Also curses enemies, stopping their ability to charge accumulation. Alright. Works for me. So, you're right, we have this sort of light. It looks like we can just give these to anybody. Uh, so in that case... Uh, you know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's switch those around. Because the frontliners seem to take a lot of damage. 
Alright, quests. Snakes on a on a plane. So we get another mad uh get another one of those. Could go for the leather jacket. Sledgehammer. Stun. Every auto attack has a chance to stun the target. Spear of stabbing, sorcery gloves. Go for the snakes on a plane. Oh, I see. These are the ones I get to bring with me. I guess I'll just bring the potion along and see what happens. Okay. Ah, there's my potion. So I might want to actually put the rogue in the back and give her a bow. I should check to see if her abilities are even compatible with that sort of gameplay. I wonder if any what happens when my characters go down. Is there any way I can tell them, like, focus fire this character? Because nope, doesn't look like it. Because with the way these battles play out, it's probably better. For them to just focus fire the same enemy over over and over again and just pick them off one by one. Maybe once we have some bigger AoEs, but... Ow. I don't know. I might be in trouble on this one. Yep. Okay. No, I think we're fine. But also, ouch. Maybe if I had some bigger AoEs spreading around would be would be fine, but oof. Eh, we're doing alright. Alright. Day five. Hi, what a beautiful companion you have there, dear. Thank you, ma'am. Finally someone recognizes how handsome you are, Mr. Maggie. Ah. Oh, what a lovely name. He reminds me of my friends. You had friends? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> and friends they were. Say, dear, have you ever had a giant snake as your friend? Can't say I have. Then you missed a wonderful new world, my dear. Getting used to snake bites is not an easy task, but once you become numb enough, you gain all sorts of fancy resistances. Yeah, I think I might pass on that. Car, car. But never, never trust an elk. I didn't... I said never, never. Velia slipped away from the uh, slipped away from the conversation as Mario was busy puffing air out of her nostrils. Guess you should never trust an elk. Probably never trust an elf. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's roll Dalton. See if he's any good. Poison blade strikes an enemy with physical power, also poison the enemy, and will suffer damage equal to eighty percent of Dalton's physical power. Magical power affects the speed at which the poison damage is suffered. Got it. Okay. I don't think the bard's actually helping as much as I wanted. Okay. So that's just bonus ma- oh. Probably better. Because, yeah, she's all magic power. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can really modify these characters that much, which is a bit of a shame, because I feel like one of the main benefits to this game... Or one of the main features should be, like, micromanaging how the character builds work. As it stands, they're kind of just generic. Okay, we want we probably want the average sword. Okay. 
How is this game so far? It is... I like the idea of it. It is kind of thin. That it shows off a lot of kind of neat ideas, and I'm I'm curious to see like how it goes. But it doesn't seem like there's much for There probably is character leveling though, I haven't noticed it. But that for a game that I, I pretty much just set my characters up and have them go out and fight, they don't actually I don't really have a whole lot of control apart from these are the characters I pick and a couple of items that I throw their way. And so I would love to I would love to see you know really deep character build trees and like abilities for them. Uh, you know, maybe not like full path of exile, but enough that it feels like, hey, yeah, there's actually a lot I can do with these characters uh, to build them the way I want want to build them. It also looks like, uh, based on how everything's going, it's probably worth it to just stack a silly amount of DPS and ignore everything else. Some of your characters seem to have lost max health, and that's concerning. Yeah, I wonder if that's a like an exhaustion mechanic. Wait, pick one. What? What? Why? Why pick one? It's not like my inventory is full. Okay. I get these. It doesn't look like I get more characters. Now that's some real good armor. And aggro. But yeah, it looks it looks like some of my characters are getting pretty tired. And so I bet just having them rest. Ah, item reward said pick one in the quest page. Gotcha. Okay, let's begin quest on this one. Okay, switch them there, switch them there. Uh, let's move her up. I'm not sure how much that makes it a difference, but it's fine. Moon Elks are... Ouchies. Okay. I think the other problem I run into is straight up with battles like this. I get really detached from them because I'm not fighting. This reminds me of uh, swag and sorcery, honestly, but with even less care for customization and building. Which is a shame because I like the core concepts of this one probably better. Swag and sorcery was weird. And kind of fiddly. Whereas... This one actually has kind of like an original charm to it. It's just so much thinner that it's like, ah. Good morning, Guildmaster. I've read from the news that there have been reports of torn carcasses, ripped trees, and loud howls recently in the forest. As far as I'm concerned, there should be should not be any things there that can leave such destruction behind them. We had a rampaging dragon or a horrendous abomination. Know this, we're ready to face it with the full might of Kilta. What are our tastes? That's a very strange thing. To think about now, my master. However, I'm certain we will know the sweet taste of victory if we ever encounter that beast. In the meantime, please select our next quest, good master. So, is this full release or alpha, alpha beta? It's early access, so to a large degree, that actually does help a lot. Okay, so now that she's properly rested, we can pass that over. Did I get.
she's probably fine. Okay, so she has Magpie's Boon. Invisible. I there's a lot of there's a lot of stats that are getting kind of thrown around, and it's almost easier for me to just kind of ignore them, at least for this video. Because this seems like the kind of game that I want to come back to. Ooh. This is the kind of thing I think I'm going to want to come back to in, like, a year or two, and actually see if it's it's better, deeper, and more interesting. This game would be better if the storytelling was like fire. Maybe. I mean, I don't mind the kind of random character dialogue moments. I, I think truly it just boils down to the fact that there's not a whole lot for me to actually interact with apart from, I mean, obviously the two items that I bring with and... Uh, let's see. Ow. I should probably heal Rufus up, though he's about to heal himself, ain't he? Yup. Whoops. Hey! I guess we have one of the devs hang out in chat. Someone streaming Kilta, the programmer for the game here. Well, welcome! Uh, I will admit I'm, I'm uh, being a little critical here, mainly just because I want more things to do with, like, uh, character building. Uh, so you might have caught me when I'm <laughs> giving too much feedback. Well, welcome in, all the same. Is there only fast and normal for battle speed? Yep, fast and normal. Though, fast is pretty dang fast. I... Can I... Can I... Oh, no. No, I don't want to do that. Can I change it so the camera doesn't shift back and forth? Because that's that's one tough bit. Because I, I like the fast speed, but I don't like how the camera zips around left and right. Weekly news has arrived. You start scrolling through the papers. Continental news. Uniting people one headline at a time, blah, blah, blah. Kingdom of Netrico increases taxes on the rust wheat exports. The tensions between the nations are the highest recorded in 100 years. Princess Hela... Hela... Hela of Acanis is said to arrive in the kingdom of Lenrit instead of her sick father, King Acanis the 14th. The matter of the visit has not been declared publicly. Scholars have been sent to the Metaforest to locate the source of the mysterious howls and growls reported last week. Reports of their findings are expected to arrive next week. Thanks for reading our news. See you again next week. Okay. Switch these guys out. Should be fine. Did I get... I did get a new sword. Eastern Sword. Seems decent enough. Armor of Balance. Okay. But yeah, I... I don't see any kind of character leveling system. I also see single star. I wonder if you get higher tier heroes at a later date, or upgrading them. Okay, so camera question. There will be settings for it later. Good. Now is this... Does it have to be melee? No, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's melee or not. Okay, well that's not worth it. Rufus wants to talk... Oh! Talk to Rufus. Begin quest? Guildmaster, greetings. Joy I am filled with. What happened? Nothing. The unison and efforts of this guild brings me joy. Everyone here has their own quest and mission. Despite that, the spirit here is high. My own village, it reminds me. It makes me feel at home. I will find what I'm looking for one day. In the meantime, I will spend my days searching for a... Searching for living a happy life here. Express my gratitude, Guildmaster, to you. You've earned Rufus respect. Rufus rank up. Oh, so there's leveling. Okay. Yeah, so maybe I should hold my tongue a little bit. Greetings, Guildmaster. Permission. Can I have to search the guild, guild building? Uh, sure. Thank you. Suggestion do you have? Where should I look first? Check at the attic. All right. Right away. I will be back. Rufus quickly rushed towards the room. He moved swiftly in between the furniture like an agile monkey. It might take a while for him to come back. I'm back. That was fast. Unfortunately, I did not find the relic. Something else, though. Here, have this, Guildmaster. Rufus handed you a dusty armor. It's been there a long time. You got a banded armor. Hey! Okay, so we can get a two-star character, Solta. As a sinned dragon warrior with a positive outlook on life, powers are enable her to use fierce flames to enchant her strikes. 
or enhancer strikes. She's looking for great warriors to fight against. Sure, we need more melee characters. Hey! And it looks like all my characters are rested now. Well, in that case, let's chuck her in instead of the bard? Maybe. What's she good at anyway? Tree Dragon Strikes. Strikes the melee target three times with Fire Rage. First does physical damage. Second is magic. And third is equal to 85% of the sum of both. I guess we'll just give her the Sword of Light. We also have Abandoned Armor. Reduces magic power. Hella physical everything. Which is great for him. Kind of okay for him. Let's take that off for the time being. I don't think I need it. Okay, Runaway Circus. Ooh. Uh, that's okay. Tower Shield. It's uh, hella good for a tank. We also have the Cursed Dagger. Magic Power and better speed. Well, the Enhanced Bow is not very good. So let's just go with Unlikely Alliance and let's see how she fares in battle. Okay. Let's see how she fares. Oh, why would you hit that one? Hit the other two. Well, it's fine. I like the pixel art for the characters and the portraits. I'm glad that there are both. Well, they're definitely chewing through enemies a lot faster. I think stacking a lot of DPS is probably better than a bunch of tanks, at least for now. Later on, we might have to think about it. Oh, I only get one. Ah, shoot. Well, tower shield. Okay, return to the guild. Yeah, the main, the main things I want out of this, just from what I've experienced so far, is really just deeper character customization. I'd love, to, I'd love to have more that I can do to, like, micromanage their builds and stuff. So, he ranked up. Ah, so that doesn't mean he's two-star. Okay, so this gets me an axe, which is a lot of physical power reduce. Eh. Or a squire's armor, which has a special ability. Hell yeah. At the beginning of every battle, each adjacent ally... That's real good, actually. Let's check these guys at it. You've been unlucky with items. They're really powerful relic items, and you can get his quest rewards. Gotcha. Well, I'm only 30 minutes in, so I can kind of understand with R RNG on that. Yeah, they fundamentally change how characters work. Okay. I just know, seeing as I don't actually get a whole lot of immediate control over the characters, like, directly in battle, I would love to be able to really fine-tune a talent tree or something like that. Uh, but I guess the flip side would also be just, like, more equip slots. It would be the other thing. But we'll see as we go along, because, yeah, <laughs> truly I can only judge based on what I've seen so far, and so, yeah, hopefully we get some... Ooh, ow. Uh, let's actually use these healing potions on Velia, on Velia. Just kill the elk. There we go. They like keep leaving it within a, a inch of dying and it's like, oh, come on. You can finish it off. I know you can.
Okay. Heal her up. I'm definitely liking Rufus for the self heals. I think I'd be on a lot more trouble without him. Ish. Ish. We also get the Squire armor. My master, we've received a report of the beast dwelling in the forest. Capital has instructed us to exterminate it. I should also like to tell you the quest is special. Failure this time is not an option. We must defeat this vile beast. Remember, you have my utmost respect and trust. I believe that with your leadership, we can conquer anything. Let us show you, show that monstrosity what your, no, our guild is made of. Hilta will be triumphant. Okay, so she's getting smacked around a little bit, so let's switch her out. So we have this. Start a battle every adjacent ally. Alright, let's give it to him. Or maybe her, give him that. Because he can heal himself. Monster in wolf's clothing. Okay, physical defense, magic defense. Huh. And a crossbow. And we're up against the insatiable hunger. Whenever it attacks a single melee... Oh, it attacks with a single me melee target with extra attack power. When the health of the insatiable hunger gets lower, it'll attack multiple he heroes instead. Alright. In we go. Okay. There we go. Well, this guy is legitimately terrifying. Good pixels. I said that earlier, but I am really digging the pixel art for this. Oh, it's spooky looking. Okay. Well, let's just speed this up a little bit. So I think we're just going to be smacking each other back back and forth a bit. Ooh, okay. Maybe healing potion on Rufus. Okay, Rufus. Now is a good time to heal yourself. It is. Okay. I think one way or another, we're going to, we're probably going to wrap this up after this boss fight. I love the pixel art. It's, I mean, this guy is freaky. Uh, but I got some good vibes here. I want to see more, but I think mostly I'm going to hold off until it's actually closer to completion. Just because I've played too many early access games and I think it's driving me a little bit nutters. It works for certain games like roguelikes, I think. Eh. Ish. It works for certain ro roguelikes. It works for certain games. Uh, but I think I'm just mired in them. But for a genre I don't normally, like, delve into. I like where this one's going. Okay, let's heal him up. Hopefully Rufus can heal himself the rest of the way. But we'll see how it goes. I think we're good on this one. I wonder what happens when you lose. I, I noticed the difficulty is ever scaling. Woof. Soli is in trouble. It's definitely a small worry of mine. Ouch. Uh, small worry of mine with games like this where it's just like, hey, uh, you're never going to be able to beat beat this. You've you did not uh, RNG was not in your side. Now you've got trash items. Maybe losing just lets you retry or something. I guess we could try just losing a fight to see what happens. As, expect as expected of you, my master, yesterday's creature stood no chance against the might of our guild. Something, however, has left me wondering. That was not your typical hunger wolf. They do not naturally grow to such sizes. We should be careful. There might be something more to that forest than we realize. Take care of my master. Ooh, 
Okay, so Raga, old automaton from an unknown period, has lost its memories and seemingly looking for something. Its armor seems nigh unbreakable and listens to commands. Or, Pyro Eryx is a sin dragon from the capital region. He's made quite a name for himself with his alias Blazing Brawler. The profession is to smash things without regard for his own safety. Okay, so hurts himself, blasts enemies. Or damage barrier. So we've got a tank and we've got a berserker. I'm going to go for Raga purely just because. And then I'm going to put everybody on reserve because this is dumb. And I'm going to send Raga out. I just want to see what happens when I lose a fight. Ah, maybe not. Unflinching resolve. Impervious all damage for 44 second following followed by incapitation. Health is set to one during the effect. It's real good at the very least. And we also get an arcane spear and a tome. Okay, so you know what? Let's Let's nix the whole idea of sacking my dudes. We'll do that later, maybe. Okay. Still don't think I have any good weapons. So, I'll do this one, and then we'll go from there. You're right, I did, I did earn a relic from the last one. It's a lot of defense. I just don't know who I'd give this one to. Never mind, I know exactly who I'm giving this one to. Okay. I love the pixel art on Raga. It looks super cool. Oh, that shield didn't last long. Okay, let's let's speed this back up. Watch them never kill that demonic viper with the two HP left. Oh, I should probably actually potion up here. Ah, uh, no, they took it out. Yeah, the bard's the bard is better than I thought. I love how Raga... Does he... Can he only shield himself, or does he only shield himself? Because I'm, I'm curious about that, because he seems to only shield himself. And I, I wish he would actually shield my near-dead party members instead. Okay, let's go take a look at his stats. Holy crap, Velia does damage. Weekly news has arrived. Okay. The source of the mysterious howls in the metaphors had been identified. A mut mutated hunger wolf was found, which a nearby guild was dispatched to stop. The guild successfully disposed of the species, sending the remains to the capital to study. An ancient site has been discovered in the Alma Mountains. The site has been identified to be at least 200 years old, possibly holding valuable items from ancient nations. Nevaya's Golden Age. Birds of feathered py pylas have been migrating more frequently lately. The source of this sudden increase in migration is unknown. The large herds might disturb the trading routes. The traders are advised to seek help of the guilds. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, inventory, we just got this spear. Which I'm just gonna give it to her, because I'm assuming it's 
gonna just make her goofy strong. I just need to find a equipment that actually raises her damage as well. So she is more of an all-rounder. It just says creates a shield. I have no idea if it creates it on Raga or anyone else. Let's actually just give him the sledgehammer. Either that or the Sword of Light. Eh, Sword of Light makes more sense. Yeah, Raga shields himself. We've discussed having abilities scale up with hero ranks to gain additional effects and stuff. That would be nice. Yeah, giving him the arc arcane spear seems to make the most amount of sense. And... Give her the bow instead. Okay, so what other quests do we have? Auto attacks do poison on hit. Tank armor, some other things. Okay, well, one way or another, I think I've I've played plenty, at least for now. I'm actually warming up to this now that the items and equipment are having more interesting effects. I think some part of me still wants more depth of customization just so I can I can cheese things even harder depending on uh you know how the mechanics would work uh I, the easiest true on, on, honest option here would be some amount of customization as they gain gain ranks like if you could actually choose like a or b ability for them or modifying ability that they already have and then maybe like one or two more equipment slots just so I have some more things to slap on and be like I'm going to just have Dalton be like Crazy Poison Man. Or somehow Raga is just covered in spikes. But I like what I'm seeing. It's kind of a fun casual game. It's a little hard for me to do as like a... Uh, let's see. Oh, hello. Okay. I'm going to bop back out. Let's try a new game. Can I set a seed? Ah, I can. Here we go. There we go. Start game. Will you accept the job of the guild master again? Yes. Why can I even say no? Alright. So apparently this is a thing. Let's take a look at every item in the game just to see what kind of cool bits we can work with. And here's the question. Do I have the exact same two? Yes, I have the same two characters. Alright, inventory. Hello stuff. Actually, this is less than I was expecting. But some of them look pretty rad. So, Assassin, get healed to full life on a killing blow. Hits will execute blow 20% health. Oh, there are more than just fits the inventory. Okay, you know that makes sense considering how many relics of the cultist I have. Is there a way to sell stuff eventually? Or do I just cap out? <laughs> okay, when... Dealing or receiving damage, there's a 50% chance to deal or receive double damage and 50% chance to receive no damage. These effects do not imply... Huh. Okay. Provides additional two points of physical power for every empty square around the user. Interesting. Unincapitation deals damage equal to own max health to a random enemy. It's pretty good stats. Every auto attack has a chance of striking with extra power value. Ah, but it doesn't give any kind of stats. Neat. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing. And I want to see more, but I think I'm going to wait until you guys are actually done. Just because I, you know, every game is incomplete until 1.0. 
And I'd rather actually dive in when it's, you know, fully fleshed out or as fleshed out as possible. So yeah, this is just a random assortment of some of the items that we could get. Many of which we've already seen before, but I'm, I guess there's a lot more than just this. Which is fine. But yeah, so this is a neat game. It came out a couple days ago on Steam already. Uh, I have no idea how long the early access period is going to be. But it is 13 bucks. Which, honestly, for what it is, seems very reasonable to me. So we've got patch notes and progress? Oh! These are just telling me various things that I can, can unlock and do. Okay, that's fair enough. Alright, and, hey, convenient, there's the Discord at the bottom if people want to uh, join uh, join the Kilted Discord and actually get involved in the development. I will leave a link to it in the description below as well, uh, just in case somebody doesn't want to have to go type that in themselves. Uh, so, I guess with this, this is going to be where I stop. I enjoyed the experience, but like I said earlier, I want to wait until it's 1.0. Uh, so, I guess for those of you on YouTube, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more random indie games, hit subscribe. And if you want to see more of this, uh, we got a little bit, a little bit to wait, but I'll be back. And with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.